I didn't expect people! Alright, I am en route to the Houston Dynamo Stadium. It's a soccer, local soccer, soccer team. Major League Soccer, MLS. Well, anyway, they got a unit says they got two blown fuses. Uh, the factory uh, facility manager says that he thinks it's a bad floor motor or a bad BFD drive. Stadium there. And I never been here before, so I gotta figure out where the entrance at. And uh call the contact guy and see how do I get access to this building and find out where the unit's at. <laughs> so I get back with them and find a place to park and make a couple phone calls. Go first. Okay. Your man. Is it like here? I guess in the mechanical. I'm more department. mechanical department. Yeah. yeah. But our company, they uh, they do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Man, that's a cool cat. Yeah. I like working with him. He helped me fix that one right there. This yeah, one here? Replace a direct drive motor. Mm hmm. Well, I tell you what, we spent hours trying to get that. Oh, yeah. We put the pulley on to try to pull it out. Uh huh. It, oh, dude, that was a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this a uh, condenser fan motor or the blower motor? It was a blower motor. Okay. Dude. Yeah. And this one here blowing the fuses, huh? Yeah, blew out lines two and three. Mm -hmm. I isolated the motor. Okay. I put the. The clamps of my my meter. Mm -hmm. It's got little clamps, and I was checking one to two, yeah. one to three, and then two to three. I was getting no resistance. Okay. And then I checked all the points, which is one, I guess, four through nine. Uh huh. I'm not getting power anything. Off, huh? Yeah, power's off. I already turned it off. You uh. Uh huh. Let me verify. You uh. When you isolated the motor, did the fuses trip again? Oh, you didn't have you didn't you, well, was, you wasn't able to put new fuses I, I in. I didn't there. put fuses in because I need to order some more, so I'm yeah. down to my last two. Uh -huh. I don't want to blow those out. I try to check the resistance on that TR200. I just wasn't sure if I was doing it right. Yeah. So where the wire nuts that was on here? Oh, I threw everything in here. Okay. So. Awesome. Like the cover on it. I didn't want to lose these guys, so I'm, I'm going to set all that right here. Okay. And I put some tape that way. What, uh... Those are what connect. What the name play there? What, what voltage is this? 460? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. 
469. <laughs> All right, so it's 460, so we're gonna go on line one, two, and three. What is this? So that's one. Okay, I see how you got it taped off. So yeah, that way they won't. I didn't yeah, want to lose you track got to. of Okay, good idea. What connects to what? Yeah, so, uh, let me see. So that's three. Let me see your wire nuts. Oh, I got one. Actually, a wire, uh, the yeah. little wire nuts, yeah. I had to cut them off. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, can't use them I need to go get some more of those. We, yeah. we, need to, we need to put these back together. Yeah, I was. I took them off to check resistance. And mm -hmm. like I said, I wasn't getting anything, but I don't know if I was doing it right or Yeah. Not. Yeah, we'll check it out. But for, for now, I can tie them together. I don't think I got any in my bag. I can go grab some from downstairs. You need the, uh, what is it? The orange ones, I think. Yeah. Yeah, if you got some orange ones, that'd be good. Okay. I'll be back down in a few minutes. Okay, then. All right. So anyway, the, this this the uh, Ace, this the uh, the guy there. He's a nice guy. So, but he's probably gonna be with me the whole time. But I told him I was gonna uh, record just to document everything. But uh, basically, he say uh, he hasn't been trained for H back, but he uh, say he pretty much trained himself on these units. Um, he say two fuses are are blown. So he checked the motor for resistance. He said he wasn't getting anything. So uh, I am going to uh, check the motor myself and then start uh, trying to find out what fuse I've been blown. It's an outside air unit. Ba -da -ba -ba. So I'm just looking around. Hopefully we don't have a bad drive. But yeah, this one of them KCC units here, 2011. So obviously talking about the fuse that goes here. So the main breaker, so it could. Like, so those two fuses are blown, so it could be the compressor or anything. So I think when those fuses are blow, was blown, uh, probably went straight to the blower motor. If I can check the blower motor. I'm, I'm gonna check the compressors. Since uh, the, while the unit is off, just take these off. And then kind of just start checking everything on the ground. All right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wait till he come back with the old fuses. All right. B B B A. Scoreboard. All right, now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I waiting on you to get back before I start the troubleshoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had to move the lift yeah. on this side because mm -hmm. they're going to start doing the green work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I walked back down and yeah. I ain't see you. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was going to be the day. Yeah. Uh, what, they, what they pulling up? Well, you see the, oh, okay. the video boards? Yeah. We're going to get a bigger TV. Oh yeah? yeah? Oh wow. So what are we looking at? Um, maybe a bad motor? Uh, I don't know. It could be a motor, compressor, it could be a wire touching. Uh, I got you. Yeah. 
Yeah. But, but we can definitely start out looking at this motor first. Because yeah. uh, <clears throat> y'all don't know when it blew out. Huh? It blew out. Uh, all right. The funny thing is, a couple mm -hmm. months, well, it's been going on for a couple months now. Uh -huh. This weird, loud humming was just. Uh -huh. So I kept, you know, I would come check on it every, you know, once in a while. But last week it finally blew out. Did you, where the home doors coming from? Was it coming from this cabinet or well, the front cabinet? I heard it from downstairs, downstairs in the okay. laundry room. Uh, that don't sound right. Uh, do you know, uh, when those fuse blow, did you uh, try to replace the fuse and it blow it again? Not yet. Oh, okay, Because okay. I've had that happen before uh -huh. on a different unit. Okay. And since my manager, you know, he's kind of cheap. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't like to spend money on fuses mm -hmm. or anything really. Yeah, well, they get kind of expensive. Yeah. All so right. I didn't want to lose my last two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If it's an intermediate, intermediate, uh, if they blow, if the fuse blows as soon as we turn it on, it'd be an easy find. Right. But if it's intermediate and they blow every. Sometimes on fuses, it'll run for like two weeks and then it'll and then blow. It it's kind of hard to find that short, but we, we can find it though. Because I, I was checking the resistance. I started with the compressor, mm -hmm. and I, you know, it was fine. I, I was getting resistance there. The what I was the outdoor fan motors. Uh huh. Those are fine. Now when it came to these two here, I, I wasn't reading anything, so I figured. It's got to be somewhere here, or the contact might be bad. Yeah. Cause I'm getting, I'm getting resistance from L1 to L2 on the contactor, but then L3 is just out. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where my alligator clamp. Motor good. Yeah, it's not the motor, then. Oh, yeah. Now, how can you tell it's not the motor? Like, you're not getting. Yeah, if I was. See, uh, see how I got this meter on? Uh -huh. It's connected to ground, to ground on this leg right here. So, if this motor, if, if it was grounded, uh, see how it's beeping right here? Oh, I see. Because you know, I'm arming it out. I see. see, from leg to leg, it should not be grounded. I'm gonna do an installation test on it too, but so you're if, the if it, if, so if I was to touch one of these wires right here, right. if it beeps, I mean it, it's grounded. It's and grounded. it's gonna blow that fuse immediately. I see. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So, so that's that, where that I was just check, Yeah. See, that's just checking continuity. So as long as it don't beep right here, I know for a fact these wires in here is not touching this. Oh, I see. Touching see, this I was ground. thinking reverse. I was thinking. Uh -huh. I'm not hearing it beep. So yeah, that so means I'm not getting continuity. So, so if if I go from L2 to L1 right here, I want to hear it beep. Yeah. Okay. All you right. know, because because that mean that mean we good. Oh, okay. So if I go you're getting continuity. Right. So let me, let me get. Oh, the, I see. So then so, my meter must be bad. Then I got a bad meter. And now I'm gonna go to <laughs> to this three right here. See, I want to beep right here. Right. Yeah. So that means my windings are good. And I'm gonna do an insulation test on it too. Uh, so I just go right here and put this one here. I'm gonna apply like 250 volts to it. So I go here. And this is going to check the integrity of the windings.
not perfect, but it's okay. See, right now I'm putting 500 volts to it, and it's taking. I'm at 445 right now. You see that? Yeah, I, I see that. It'll go up. So, so if I was to um, check this installation, the integrity of the of this motor, mm -hmm. and I'm putting five 500 volts to it, if I get like zero down here, I see. That means you have a bad motor. I'm getting 520. So that's good. So I'm gonna do the same thing to L3. I'm getting 500. So the motor is good. Yeah. I just had a bad meter then. <laughs> Cause I was doing- Where your, where your meter at? It, it's not a fluke, it's a little UEI. It's a little uh -huh. cheapy. Well UEI, they, they, I never had one, but I heard they pretty good. They, they're good, but I only paid a hundred bucks for it. Yeah. So, I mean, it was used, so. All right, all right, all right. So let's keep that isolated for right now. Yeah, because I put, the, I apply a voltage to it. That makes sense. Yeah. So I just, yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna check circuit one and then circuit two. So I mean, it's the same exact concept. Right. Checking all three points. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get a ground for right here. This compressor is good. Let me check the in insulation on this compressor too. Let me test this 500 volts. 525. That, that's good. Five, that's good. All right, compressor is good. Let me check socket two.
grass is not grounded. That's good. Before I check open winding. Compressors are good. What about those condenser fan motors? Oh, yeah, condenser fan. I was checking them from where is it? Where is it? Where is Taking them from. All right, so I was I was looking at three F, two F, and one F. But I don't know if I was doing it right. Yeah. I mean, you can go here. ODM one and ODM two. Uh, -huh. uh let's see, ODM yeah, outdoor fan motors. So we can go from here because this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this contact right. is going. These two are going to the to the motor. The best way to take it right at the motor, but we can take it from right, right. here too. Yeah. Yeah, I was. If we get anything, we have to. So I had no choice but to check them here, but I would have mm -hmm. preferred from. Yeah. Right if, there, the team. If I get anything to, to eliminate the contact of the wire, then we'll go to the motor. To the motor. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Get a good ground. Separate from the resistance test, right? Yeah. The resistance test, you want it to be. Yeah, because uh, you don't want the windings open because right. it's, 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 you know, it's wires. So you, you want to be, when you're going, when, uh, I guess the easy way to remember, when, uh, when you're checking this at the compressor from L1, L2, you want, you you want, want it, it to, be. you want it to be, yeah. But, but if it's from ground, whenever you want the ground, it should not be. It shouldn't because be. You, I got you. Yeah, you don't want the wires inside here to be touching. Touching that. Yeah, touching the chassis. That uh, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, that's what I need to clear uh, up. Uh huh. <coughs> One. So I'm not getting anything, none of the motors. What we got here? L1. We're going to get some resistance. The incoming power with L. Let's see which two fuses blow. Oh, shoot, that's right. I took them out. Yeah, that's fine. I got them downstairs. I'm going to bring them back. Uh, you, you got the two blown fuses? Yeah, I still have them on my desk. And you got two new ones? Yes. Can you bring the two new ones and the two and blown ones? Yeah. Yeah, I thank you. That. So since I don't see any obviously motors bad, I'm just gonna kind of just check around. Maybe see if I got any wires or touching or bad contact or something. So I'm just gonna really go to all my wires and see if I get anything in the ground. All my 
a high voltage wires anyway. Other than that, I'm gonna have to put those fuses in there and uh, see if it blow in front of me. Like I said, if it blow, hopefully it blow right away. Check this heater section. so I can't get that messed up. White, white, red, red, black, black. Two and three. Let's see what it goes. So here's your old ones. Okay. Which you see this one pop, but uh -huh. this one you can't really tell. Okay. But I checked the resistance and it was Okay, it's open. I wasn't getting anything. Okay. And then I brought some new ones here. Okay. It's just different brand. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, both of them are open. I'm going to uh okay so I'm going to I'm gonna check around a couple things before we install them right because uh, I don't see anything so far I'm looking at the transformer I'm trying to find this let's go to the heater that's the burn section So you're thinking maybe a transformer might be bad? Uh, no, nah, I'm just like a possibility yeah maybe. yeah i'm gonna check i'm trying to see what he's going to 59 and 59 59 now these are two transformers right here
Yeah, man, I don't see anything right off. I'm, so I'm gonna hook this blower motor back up and uh, the whole fuse blow right away, we're just gonna have to get some more. Because when we fired up, if it blow right away, we know we got a short somewhere. Um, <clears throat> and it's a sequence of operation. So if the blower turns on and it blows, we know there's something going on with the blower section. If the blower runs and it don't blow, then maybe compressor start up. And then if it blows when the compressor start up, we'll kind of know uh, process of elimination. All right. Yeah. Uh, just FYI. Uh huh. You know, my boss, he's real. No. Uh -huh. So he, he said if they blow out, he's just going to back charge you. So, yeah. What do you mean by that? Um, the fuses are 20 uh -huh. bucks a pop. Uh huh. So the two new ones pop. Uh -huh. He's just gonna end up back charging you for those two. Mm -hmm. and it is what, it is. what you mean, charge us? Well, I don't know or, about or the company. Yeah, yeah whoever yeah. takes care of. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's kind of a. Yeah. He's kind of an ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't hear that from me. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I tried not to get into that part. I just do my troubleshooting and. That's it. You no. Know. Yeah, I, I end up getting stuck in the middle of areas. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh, frustrating. Yeah. And I tell them, I mean, shoot, I only got a year experience doing this. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I feel like maybe I bit off more than I could chew when I finished school. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting this as my first job. And mm -hmm. At first I was like, oh, awesome, but now it's like, me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you go to school for? Oh, a track. Okay. I ended up getting my. They got this new thing, the associate's degree. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went to school for HBA. Okay. Yeah, HCC though. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, I know a lot of people take their program. So, so you just control the other HVAC part. Well, I do the BAS too. You like do the I BAS. Do the so you basically HVAC though. So you don't. You not like the facility. You don't do everything. You don't do like no. the plumbing and electricity. Oh no, I do that too. Okay. Okay. But. I only help. Uh huh. My boss wants him to be that guy, the yeah. facility guy. Yeah. And I. Yeah. Well, it's a bit much. I just want to do H. -back. Yeah, yeah. Just do H. -back. I, I like, it, it, I like it, BAS. Look, though. that's my. I thing. mean, but BAS is a part of H. -back. Oh, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. It's, yeah. If you did eight back school, just concentrate on one trade. Don't try to do all of them right now. Yeah. Don't try to be an electrician, plumber. It's I, good over the years to learn all of it, but. It, it is, but in due time, I'm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah, and hopefully he can get you through some training, like train got courses and stuff. Cause that's you mostly know, what y'all got. I wish he could. Cause you got. They don't do training here. Yeah, well you got to do continued education though, because I mean you always gonna have to. Cause uh, through time, man, this stuff, mm -hmm. technology. It it, it moves. I, like I just come from a class way in Kentucky. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Stuff always changes, so. It is. You got to probably take. It's just I need that training. Yeah. I just yeah. Don't know where to find it yeah. Go to uh. John John Stone Supply. John Stone. Okay. They always have courses. Really? Yeah, right. like every month they doing something. Okay. Uh, but all the HVAC stores and stuff like that, just go to them. And they, and then when you go to like the counter, they always have like a sheet. What? What? Okay. Yeah, training courses. Yeah. And then you can sign up for the email too. Yeah. Then they email you whenever they have a training course. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm glad you told me that. Oh yeah. Cause you got to at least take about one or two classes per year minimum. Right. Minimum. Mm-hmm. Nice. And you, you know Jason from the BAS side, right? Uh. I think his name is Men Men Menendez. 
It sounds familiar. Yeah. I got his card. What's his last name? Well, I know him kind of, sort of. Uh huh. Yeah, it's funny. See, I got, I got Tony, I got Imran, I got Jason. Yeah. Man, I've been bugging Jason to see if he can meet me with the job. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I told him, man. You, so you already put the application in? Yeah, as long as you put the application yeah. in and eventually Man, I, they'll call you up. I'm, I'm hitting I'm hitting a limit. Mm -hmm. Like a barrier. Yeah. My boss doesn't want me to get good at what I'm doing because then he's going to lose me. And yeah. He told me himself, I don't want to lose you. No. But at the same time, I but that's not good there's money out there oh yeah right oh yeah man I want to get there. that's funny though uh when i first started uh -huh. it was something like this right here oh, yeah. there's a bunch of train units on the roof i had to stay there for like three months because the company i was with yeah. i put me in a hotel for like three months because oh, wow. it was at a school and they had number train units <laughs> man but it was no i had like no supervisor over me or anything like that um and i just had a field day up there i didn't know anything i was first uh, but I, if, if the unit, little president unit, just like that, mm -hmm. and I would open them units up, man, and just follow every wire. Yep. And like they had units side by side, so if one would break down, the one that was working good, I would compare. Like, okay, okay, like yep. damn, so yep. what this one doing? That this one ain't doing it. That's kind of how I learned. I don't yep, know the little president that's, unit. That's pretty much how I learned how to do all of these. Is, mm -hmm. Cause my boss, he, he's not gonna get on the roof and show me nothing. Yeah. He don't want to show me nothing. What do he know? He got an age back. He he, he, he knows. Oh. Age, well, he says he knows age back. Uh huh. I'm not gonna lie. There's stuff I find out that he doesn't know, but he won't tell me. Yeah. I tell you what, that's the best way to learn is teach yourself. And that's what I've been doing for yeah, a year. Yeah, that I mean, you need training too, so because I do need training, but that's where I'm lacking. I, I yeah. Can't even find, but like that ERB, I can take it apart. I don't know everything, but uh -huh. I know enough to fix it. That's good. I just I need to go somewhere where I can really, you know, I guess, how can I say, expand on my skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. You gotta look out for yourself, man, because yeah. these bosses, like I said, they try to limit, limit you. I can't get in there. I am getting kind of low ball though, because I mean I'm doing all this for like 15 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Like I say it's. A, I mean it's a good starting point. You gotta start from somewhere. Yeah, you do. I ain't gonna lie. I mean it's it's they treat me okay here, but I can do better. Yeah. yeah that's true. I'm, I'm just looking. Yeah. Sometimes you can have a bad disconnect. They don't look bad, though. Yeah, no. All right, man. I'm gonna fire it up. Touching. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Show us the 
leave no burnt spots or anything. No burnt up. Let's go in there now. Let's take this off too. Let's take a look. and I trip this. you been here uh, about a year okay yeah my professor well when i was at atc he uh -huh. kind of hooked me up with a job okay well i mean so I'm, I'm sticking with it yeah if it's until a, i get better yeah if it's a ceiling to it though i'll well, stick around forever <laughs> oh no no my boss's boss he's a little more savvy so he knows and he told me himself, look, I like you. I know I'm not going to have you here forever. Just stick around until you get better. Yeah. Because he's, he's real with me. He, he's a cool, cool guy. But that's why I, I always try to do the best I can out here. I mean, I can't really do it right. Yeah. Because I don't know enough. Yeah. Well, I can't really say it. All right. I can't really say that as an excuse. <laughs> yeah. I know enough, man. I, I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. None of us know everything, bro. Yeah. All right, man. Let's fire it up and see what it do. You got the plate for this? Oh yeah. That's right there. Good. Okay, it's fine right now. So that's off and the disconnect is off. Yeah. So you want to do that first? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, so we good right there. We should have power at the bottom of here. I think uh, do we have any kind of weather or power surge 
Oh man, we get power surges here all the time. We don't have any protection against it. Uh huh. We got this lightning protection, but not power surges. Yeah. So every week is always a different adventure for me. <laughs> yeah. And this right here usually mounted. Yeah. Oh this. yeah, I, I took it down because I wanted to get the back there. Okay. Yeah, we got about. It's on auto. Sound like it's ramping up. Oh, I hear it. Hurts. See so. that humming? the bearing's gone you, you can't do nothing about it hey you, you, i mean you kind of quiet the noise but once right. the bearing's gone you gotta replace the motor i got you yeah i, I hear it too all right man that's what that's what it is then we'll write it up new. now i know yeah. when i hear that humming yeah it's so weird yeah okay which one So how they normally do it, we just write up a quote. But yeah, I, So they, yeah, they're getting it ready. Yep. Well, we got Fan Fest uh, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Players are gonna come in to practice, but they're gonna let people come in and kind of hang out. Yeah, the girls play here too, right? I, yeah, I think it's, it's one famous, famous girl, she married to somebody. Oh, J.J. Watt? Yeah, J.J. Yeah, Watt. But, but you know, she's mm -hmm. going to Chicago now. Oh, okay, she got traded? Yeah, she got traded. Oh, she, oh, she, was she like free agent, or they traded her? <laughs> I think she she ended up being free agent because she got contract. And probably got so more money, huh? There's more money out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I just, see, mm -hmm. they'll close this off. Yeah, security guy here. Just the bar area here? Little bar area. Yeah. When the house gets packed, it, it gets pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I got the units over. Oh, yeah. What, uh, is this a split system, a package unit? Actually, it's a, an ERV. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, package unit. Yeah. yeah. But, for uh, some reason, that one down here, I've been having trouble with that one over there. What's going on with it? Well, all right. <clears throat> Man, that'd be nice if these were sliding doors. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a garage door behind those Oh, curtains. okay. It opens up. It opens and up. And you can walk out. And, mm -hmm. and this whole little area is closed yeah. off just to them only. Yeah. And that's the new TV screen? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the new one. one right there? Yeah. That they installed? The bigger one. Yeah. And they could have put another one on this end. Oh, yeah. You see on, on the oh, southwest oh, yeah. and the southeast. So they could have take these little small ones out? Yeah, yeah, let's see where those, uh, I guess those hanging black bars mm -hmm. is going to go that far and then it's going to be wider. So they're taking that one down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's going to start looking nice. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nice. The reason for the bigger TVs is so you can squeeze in some more advertisers. Mm hmm. That's where they make their money on advertising. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're gonna end up updating this. JJ White White. Right. What's her name? Okay, Khalil. Okay. Khalil or something like that. Uh-huh.
just what it is. She's got to make that money. Yeah, the girls' locker room is right there. Mm -hmm. There's our guy in here. And the TSU's way down there. Oh, they got their own locker room? Yeah, they get their own locker room. They pay for it. So we make sure we take care of them. Everybody. They've had a few concerts out here, too.